The Remote Pack option for on-the-air video allows users to control their playout channel from either a web page or a separate unlicensed on-the-air video running on a separate Mac. This video will show you how to set up your playlist channel, then show you how to connect from a separate computer. We will have another video for the web page control. I have my playout channel on the left side. The playback channel is where the remote pack option license needs to be applied, with a simulated remote on-the-air video on the right side. On the playout channel, we'll go to Settings, General, and Media. We'll click on the Media folder, select. Here I've already assigned my channel to the playout folder I've made. I'll click Open. Now this media folder is flat, meaning it does not support subfolders. I'm going to click Catalog Media Folder. Now we will click on HTTP Server, and we will enable Remote Control. Here we can name the Playout Channel. Here I've already named it Main Program, and we can also set Authentication. So let's click that, and then Authorized Users. We can add a user. For this, I'll just make it a simple admin. User will also be admin. And you won't believe what the password will be. I'll let you guess. And then we can set the authorization level. I'm going to set full access. And now we can close that. Once you follow those steps, you're ready to go to your remote machine. So we're gonna go to on the air video, and in the toolbar you have remote control. That's opened this window. When you click the plus, you can see that our channel name is already there. We'll add that, and then we can assign a color. Let's make it coral. Close that and hit connect. I'm gonna say playback control and put in my credentials I just made. Now it's good to know that even though the user has full access, they can still connect just if they want to observe. So this is good that you can still have all those controls, but still reduce your security settings in case you're worried about accidental clicks. I'll go to playback control and click connect. Okay, the playlist has just popped up and now we can see all of our clips. It's good to know that the remote client can only show playlists that have been saved on the Playout channel at least once. Once a new playlist is made and saved, it will show up as a tab in the remote client. So on my Playout channel, I'm going to open a new playlist. Let's just drag some media over. Save. New playlist. Save. And if we look at the remote channel, we see a new tab. Now we added the media browser in the playout channel. Let's see why that's so important. On our playout channel, we can open up the media browser. Now these clips can be added into our playlist. You can make edits as in and out points, or you can add graphics and many other customizations. But with remote pack, this is nice because now you can do this remotely. So on our remote server, we can see that we have the media browser for main program. So when I add and change, you see it immediately shows up on the playout channel. I'm going to open up a new playlist. In the remote server, when a channel is playing, it will show up in the tab. So let's play this channel and you can see that it is indicating that it is playing, giving you a heads up on which one you're controlling. The remote server allows you to control multiple playout channels that each have remote pack. So in our remote server, we'll click plus and add another playout channel. We'll click connect, our control type. we see our other channel with a different color and its name. And you can see the difference that the media browser for the remote server, it'll change based on the channel we're selected on. Main program channel versus our on-the-air video too. That is the basic setup overview of Remote Pack. 
Subscribe to keep up to date on new features, announcements, and more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.